guys thinking in that offense is huddle and you get the ball back before three passes came to you? Right, we were, we were just thinking uh, special teams not coming out there. That was, that was the message in the, in the huddle, like, let's go win it. Don't let special teams come out here, let's go win it. And that's what we did. Take us through the play, the touchdown. Right, so I seen the, I got the play call and I seen where the nickel was. It looked like he was about to blitz. So, I mean, I kind of stand him and kept my leverage. Um, that kind of lost him. I threw my hand up. Kirk threw a great ball, as always, and uh, the rest is history. Is that one of those plays that almost happens in slow motion? You're open, and the ball's coming, and you know what's on the line. Uh, usually, but that would happen pretty fast. <laughs> that, that, that would happen pretty fast, and it was, it was over, and shoot, we here before I could even think. <laughs> Kid, you're kind of going with the flow because you got the reception right before that too, right? Could you feel that? You know, you like to get those touches. Right, right, right. Um, later, later in the game, you know, you started to, to work with me more. Like, you know, those those last couple drives. Um, that's for some reason how it always plays out. But um, you know, I just want to do my job, and um, you know, when my numbers call, make the play. Okay, so how good did that shift the last couple weeks? Not really right. as involved as maybe you would like to it now. Right. Win the game. I mean, it, it felt amazing, man. Um, you know, I, I read a book, you know, it's called, you know, Chop Wood, Carry Water. You know, each play, you know, keep chopping, keep chopping, play play by play, you know, play the next play. And, um, you know, the ups and downs, you know, keep fighting. And, um, you know, I came out on top. We came out on top. And um, it feels good. What's the mood if that fourth quarter rolls on on the sideline, especially when you guys at any given time or maybe one play from this game? Right. I mean, it's a fight. It's a fight. You know, every, every down, you know, uh, Coach KO, he says, you know, make them snap it one more time. Um, it, it's a fight, you know, we, we have a resilient team, um, you know, we, we got it going and, um, you know, when it, when it counted, you know, we got it done. Uh, you, you guys really came up clutch today to get that win. Did you maybe learn something about yourself or this team with that performance? I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, we're a resilient group. Um, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, who, who, who's leading us or, you know, the, the guys in this locker room, you know, we're, we're a resilient group, you know, and led by KO and led from the guys at the top, you know, and our, and our quarterback, Kirk Cousins. Um, you know, so I think that's that's what we learned. You know, we're a resilient group, and I think we showed that last year. You know, we want to continue to fight. Would you take us through the last that touchdown pass? What you saw at the line of scrimmage, and why you got so open? Right, as I said, I, I think I seen the, the uh, Mike Hughes and you know, a former former Viking out there yep. was competing. Um, it looked like he was about to blitz. And, you know, he, he usually on, on film I see him. You know what he kind of does, and um, you know, so I, I stunned him down, and um, you know the safety kind of lost, and I don't know what happened there. But I seen I was open. You know, threw my hand up, and again, Kurt made a great uh, great ball. Were you surprised at how open you were? No, uh, <laughs> no, you know, I played with two, you know, uh, amazing wide receivers, you know, Adam Thielen was his 50th touchdown reception, you know, today amazing, you know, Justin Jefferson, the best in the league, you know, so I know they're going to get a lot of, you know, double coverage and things like that. It's going to leave me, well, you know, one-on-one -on -one or, you know, hopefully wide open, and um, that's when I'll make a play. Yeah, what were they doing against Jefferson today, you know? Man, they had, they had a good plan against them. They, they had a good plan against them, you know, trying to get their hands on and, and play over top. And you know, like I said, I, I think he's the best in the business. So you know, he'll he'll adjust to it, and you know, he'll he'll continue to make plays. Did you what happened on that play with Kirk, where it looked like he overthrew it to you right. earlier in the game? Was that the case? What was that? Yeah, I think I think that's all it was. We just we just missed on the connection, but um, you know, we'll we'll get back to it. The Lions uh, seem to be very handsy today. Did they oh, yeah. try to do that on every play? Uh, yeah, yeah, they were they, they were very handsy. Um, you know, again, they were already trying to get hands on Justin, and you know, they were they were just you know handsy. I mean, that's that's all I can really say. But um, you know, we try to fight through it and um, you know still make a play. When you guys went four and outs previous drive, did you feel like you would get a chance at one more chance at the ball? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, we, we have trust and belief in our defense. You know, they, they came up big for us. Um, you know, and, and Josh, you know, ended the game for us. You know, so we have we have trust in this whole locker room. So you know, we knew we'd get the ball back. And again, uh, when we got in the huddle, it was you know let's finish the game. I know that KO was talking about. Listen, we get it. Whenever we're behind, like you want Philly, just chip away. At it. You don't have to win it all right. in one play. That goes hand in hand with the chop wood carry water, right? It goes hand in hand. You know, like I said, play the next play. You know, play. Look, my mom always said, one play at a time. One play at a time. That's all you can do. Control what you can control. Um, good play, bad play. You know, go to the next one and um, you know, have had a good outcome. KJ, I know you had some good moments in this league already, but just to this one, I mean, a game-winning touchdown and another big catch on the drive to keep it going. What does it, you know, feel like to? Is this a moment you can kind of dream of growing up and stuff like that? Of course, man. It's just, I mean, I'm in the NFL. You know, I don't, I don't take it for granted. Every, every day I'm out, I'm out, on my way to work, you know, I pray and I thank God. You know, I'm in the NFL. Um, this is a, this is what I, I begged and cried on my knees for. You know, when I was a kid to be able to be in this situation. You know, you know that's my that's my hometown team. I'm from Ypsilanti, Michigan, a couple miles away from from Detroit. And there's a bunch of Lions fans back at home and things like that. So um, again, be able to, to come out here, I'm truly blessed, and I'll never take it for granted. When was the last time you caught a game winning touchdown like pass like that? <laughs> uh, last year in uh, Carolina. Okay, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> did, did he say anything to you after that? Oh uh, uh, no, not not like anything, but you know, just we talked throughout the game. You know, we're just competing. You know, like I said, he was here. You know, it was it was good to see him out there. You know, competing. I told him, uh, you know, we'll do it again in Detroit.
you do. What do you think gives you her dead chemistry in those two minute situations? Because he seems to fly with a lot in those, right. those tempo situations. I mean, just just communication. Um, you know, reps after reps in practice. We got we got reps after practice. You know, from the off season. You know, this is this is just you know what happens in the light. You know, but we do a lot in the dark. You know, a lot of, a lot of extra work, a lot of meetings. Um, Kurt does an unbelievable job in his preparation, um, and it inspires me to be as prepared as he is. Um, so that you know these these situations and these tight critical moments, um, you know he's able to trust me and come to me. KJ, when you guys came back from tied at 14 right from the half, what adjustments were made because you guys were starting to slide maybe a little right. bit and then something changed. Right. You know, it's, again, just just continue to work and like like um, you know I, I think that. You know, it wasn't really us. It was, it was, or excuse me, it wasn't them. It was more of us. You know, like that competing. You know, I feel like we, we have the best. You know, I feel like we the best in the business. That's what we always talk about. Um, so you know, we know we at our best and we play at our best. Um, you know, we can do amazing things. You know, that we just be ourselves. That's all it was. You a Calvin Johnson fan growing up, or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, of course, of course. Megatron was, was you know one of the, one of the best to play. Um, you know, I did watch him, but I was actually I was a big college guy. I, okay. I, I mean, growing up, I was a running back. I like Reggie Bush and you know, all those running back guys. KJ, do you feel that, I know a lot of people are kind of doubting you guys, even after the second game, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you guys have an identity yet? Do you feel like you just got certain to show it? What do you guys feel about this comeback? Right. In many ways. I, I feel like, you know, we just got to go out there and prove it. It's not really about, you know, what anybody else thinks of us. Um, you know, we, we go out there with, with total confidence. We know last week wasn't our, our best performance, um, like I said, but we come in here, we, we work throughout the week, um, and we got this one done. So, you know, it's not really about what, what anybody else thinks, but, you know, and, and here, you know, we have confidence. You know, we understand what we can do, the type of team we can be, but uh, none of that matters. You know, we got to go out and, and, and do it every Sunday, Thursday, Monday, out there on the grass, on the turf, and, um, you know, we did that today. KJ, how did you get? How did you transition from running back to receiver? How did that process? Work? Oh man, I was way back in, in high school. We ran a we ran a veer offense. And I was like the little the hand down guy, and then uh, so I moved out to the slot. We were doing like the most motions and sweeps, and um, then after that, I started playing receiver. Awesome. Run with it, Adam. Just how, how do you walk out of that? I mean, it was so many twists and turns, and it seemed like a couple of times you guys were kind of buried there, but you climbed yeah. back out of it and get it. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, just uh, initial thoughts, like obviously you got to go watch the tape, and I know there's going to be a ton of things to clean up as a team, as an offense, as an individual. Um, um, but I, I will say the fight, you know, just having a win like that of just like nobody quitting, nobody giving in, which we could have done so many times in that game, um, it's encouraging. Um, we talk about it again. You know, I've, I've talked with you guys the last few weeks about how we're kind of, we're kind of uh, the way that they've built this team, the way that they built this organization, it's, it's to handle success and failure. And so you kind of saw that today. Uh, again, we've talked about it, but you saw it today of just handling some failure and how we, how we handled that. And we're just able to, everyone's just kind of like, next play, next play, next play. And it's not over till it's over. Um, obviously, that's, that's a lot we can build on. But again, got to go look at this tape. You know, be hard on ourselves individually. I know I'm already hard on myself on a lot of plays um, throughout that game, but I'm um, excited to, to move forward. I feel like as the game went on, you got going a little bit more. What what did you feel like loosen up, or what allowed you to at least get a little more involved there and make make a few plays? Yeah, I think just the coaching staff, uh, Kurt, uh, just trusted me uh, that uh, whatever it looked like, that I was going to make a play. And, um, you know, obviously that's a good feeling as a player is just to be able to go out there and just continue to fight and continue to try to do your job. You know, there's, again, there's a lot of plays that I, I already know without even looking at the film that I could have done a better job on. But uh, just the fact that they just kind of keep um, you know, trusting me and, and keep, you know, letting me get involved. And, um, you know, I've always been the type of player once – once I feel like I get going, it's kind of, um, you know, I feel like I can I can be up there at the top of them, so just keep working. Were you concerned after that fourth down that you weren't going to get the ball back? Is it hard to watch when you really can't do anything about it? I didn't even really think about it, to be honest. Uh, just kind of just focused on, you know, we're talking on the sideline about, hey, when we do get the ball back, or if we do get the ball back, this is what we're going to do. This is our plan. This is this is the plays that we're thinking. So just really trying to stay focused. And I think that's something that throughout a game, you know, you get to the sideline and you can do two things. You can either look back at the plays that you, you could have done a better job on, get frustrated and things like that, or you can move on and just try to be prepared for the next series. You know, what type of plays are we going to run that next series to, to try to attack them? So. Um, that was kind of the mindset, and it happened so fast that we could, you know, the defense obviously did a great job, and, um, and then, you know, obviously with that missed field goal, that was huge, and then just uh, trusting it, you know, we had great field position, and, and we kind of knew going to that huddle with that great field position, that kind of momentum change, 
you could kind of feel in the huddle that, hey, we're going to do something here. I don't know how it's going to shake out, but we're going to do something here. And a number 50, though, right? It's kind of a, a personal fight, so I know you're a team guy, but that, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I don't like uh, the whole stats thing, so I'm glad I got that one out of the way because people kept telling me about it. But, uh, um, but yeah, you know, again, there's so many factors that lead into that, so I'm thankful for my teammates. Uh, a bunch of guys came over to me right when it happened and, and said, keep that ball. So, um, you know, just thankful for the guys that have helped me get to that because it's definitely not an individual thing. And with Sammy White in the building, too, how special was it to be able to tie him in that fashion? Yeah, it was pretty cool because I got to talk to him yesterday, and um, the PR guy said they kind of told him, like, hey, you only need one more to tie you. And he's like, oh, really? <laughs> uh, so uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty cool. Is that a play when it gets – Say that again. No, I don't think I've ever been held so much in my life. But uh, uh, but we kind of knew that again. Like those are the things you see on tape, and you you mentally prepare. You know, like hey, I don't care. I gotta win. I gotta win because they're not gonna call every single one of them. As you, as you saw in that game, they can't. They can't call every single holding over and over and over. So um, you know you're gonna have some some good calls, some bad calls, and you just gotta fight through it and you gotta continue to go. Obviously, it's tough when it's a, a fourth down and things like that, but. Again, you just have to just just keep going to work and, and trust in that um, good things will happen. Hey Adam, how do you feel about going to London? Your uh, third visit, I guess. How do you feel about that? Yeah, um, you know, excited to to move on from this week. Obviously, we got some stuff to, to work on to, to to figure out what we could have done better today. Um, but another great opportunity in a different country, um, in front of different fans, which um, I think is pretty special. Uh, I always enjoy going over, over there and playing football. Um, and uh, another opportunity to play this game that I love to play. Now you said on NFL Network, I guess, that you actually were hoping to go earlier because you got jet lagged the last time you guys are going later than you did before. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, shoot, uh, if, if I've trusted anybody, it's this, this group, this organization, these leaders that they brought in. Um, that they're going to make the best decision to help us win a football game. They're not doing it for any other reason to, than to, to be at our best. So, um, you know, obviously for me, um, it was a completely different um, situation. We didn't play the next week. Um, so I believe that's why we're kind of going over a little later. Um, and and um, again, like I, I don't question a thing that this organization is doing right now because um, they're trying to put us in the best position to win. On the touchdown, is that a play? I mean, I know in hindsight it's easy to say, but is that a play you think has a pretty good chance to succeed if I remember correctly? Kind of a big pitch and everybody got sucked over and he just popped out wide open. Yeah, coaches uh, kind of told me all week that, that I was probably going to be the guy. Um, again, the, the great thing about this staff and this offense is they're not going to just say, like, hey, we're going to throw it to you. It's like they're going to read it out. Uh, we're going to do things to try to get guys open. Um, and then Kirk, obviously, is so good about just reading it through uh, true because, you know, someone else could have popped in practice. Other guys pop. Um, so um, great play design. And uh, that was probably one of my easier touchdowns I've ever had in my career. So uh, thankful for those. Justin got a ton of attention. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty obvious that you and KJ had more opportunities because of that. Yeah, for sure. And that's uh, we, we talk about it in our room. We talk about it in the offense. We talk about it as a team that, that, that you have to have multiple guys be able to make plays. And we have to take pressure off Justin. Um, the running game has to take pressure off of, of, of Justin. And uh, he's an unbelievable football player, and, and uh, we need him making plays. So we got to do our part um, as individuals um, outside of him to, to really just make it tough on defenses. And again, the coaching staff um, um, have done such a great job of just designing stuff and, and making sure that that you know you know Kirk has a has a read, and that, that if one guy's double, then the other guy's a double, and if one guy was one on one coverage, and you saw that on the the KJ touchdown, you know that was. Maybe not necessarily designed to go to him, um, but but uh, they're going to read it out and they're going to play it uh, true. And when you do that and you practice that way, and it pops in the game, you're ready to throw it like Kirk did, and obviously made a great read and a great throw. And KJ did a great job as he does always, um, and ready for his opportunity even when he doesn't get a whole lot of them sometimes. What did you see at the beginning of that play? Did you think KJ was going to be the guy to pop? No, that's what's so great about this offense is you're just you just play it out and you just you just try to win. And uh, I know that's uh, maybe cliche to say, but you really do. You just you just go out there, you hear the play, you try to do your job to the best of your ability, and you let you let guys that are um, a lot better uh, uh, at, at thinking out the game, like Kirk and Coach, uh, you let them do their job and just let them just find the open guy. So uh, we did we did that, and, and uh, Kirk continues to do that every game. And how about on the other side, of the ball, and you see a kid like Josh Metellus have a really big game like he did today, right? And he works hard all the time too. Yeah, you know what's great about that is is we see it day in and day out. We see that in training camp. 
uh, we know what kind of player he is because we get to see him every single day. So it's always good to see him do that against another team and have them see what kind of player he is. But um, I always loved his energy. Usually when guys have success on special teams, usually that translates to offense or defense. Um, and he's that guy that has been a dominant special team player. And then, you know, you just kind of trust when he goes in, he gets his opportunity on defense, he's probably going to make plays on defense too because, in my opinion, special teams is harder to have success than, than offense or defense. Do you know anybody else who's had success on special teams? <laughs> and carved out a role in them? I know a few guys. <laughs> Adam, what, what stands out to you about the way that KJ has kind of carved a role and, like, worked into a sport where he's putting big spots into a corner in big situations like he's done? It's the way that he works – in the OTAs, training camp, during the season, during games, you know, you just have so much trust in him because he continued to it every single training camp practice. I mean, there's, it was arguable that he was getting more open than any other receiver. Um, he's just that type of player that he doesn't care about how many opportunities he gets. He doesn't care about what's stacked against him. He just goes out and works every single day. And we, t we talk about it, you know, he, he tells me that, that he's just working. He's just trying to do his job every single play. And that's the stuff that shows up in, Big time moments, uh, like he has in so many games. You know, I, I very, very similar play in my mind uh, what he did in Carolina yeah. last year. So, um, pretty exciting for him. Thanks, Thanks guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate you.